Welcome to Thriver TV, the place to break free from narcissistic abuse with quantum tools and understandings. This is what happens when we draw closer to the completion of each year. We reassess. We think about the year that's just been. And maybe you feel pleased with how far you've come or you may still wonder why you're stuck and you're in the same position. Maybe you did experience great progress or maybe you had some stop start results. Whatever the case is, the truth is we all want the best out of life. We all want to expand forward onto the trajectories and experiences that please us. Trajectories are such a hard word to say sometimes. And what we understand when we start thriving is that the only life that does please us is the one that has broken free from our old fearful and limiting patterns. But how do we do this? I believe the partial answer to this is knowing that we have to take personal responsibility to change our life because nothing or no one is coming to save us from our previous patterns. It's a job that we have to perform ourselves. I've been thinking about this a lot lately, explaining the fastest way through to changing our lives for the better. And I've known for a long time that when we release trauma and we replace it with the light, which is the process of NARP and hence why it is so effective, that we start automatically expanding beyond our old self and into our new self. But how do we change really? Chemically, physiologically and spiritually, how do we change and what is the total key to this? If we aren't yet a being who's aligned with happiness, success and health, we haven't yet been able to tap into the abundance and the flourishing of life force, which truly wants the highest and the best for us as well, if we can get ourselves out of the way. And if this is you, it doesn't mean that you're a failure or that you've been doing something wrong. What it means is that you haven't yet known the direct way to do this. There's an old saying, nothing changes if nothing changes. And there's another that goes like this. We can't do the same thing that hasn't worked and expect a different result. Well, today, very soon, I'm gonna to explain to you exactly how to do something different powerfully that will change your entire life very quickly beyond description. But before I do that, I wanna to explain to you what unconsciousness is. What is it? It's being stuck in the same cycles and pain and not taking our power back by realizing that we're the generative source of our own experience. It's the experience of being a victim and looking outside of ourselves and blaming other people and situations for the way our life is. This is the epitome of fruitlessly trying to control, change or fix the billions of situations and people on the planet to try to get a different result rather than attending to the only person we do have power over, ourselves. When we know that this is the way home to ourselves and an incredible life, we know that this place within is the seat of our creative true self power. It's here that we have a literal powerhouse of an inner universe connected to an outer universe. And it's this, the connected inner and outer, that is our entire experience that we know to be our life. When we wake up out of unconsciousness into consciousness, we know that this is the truth. Let's have a look at how our inner universe works. It's like this. We have an experience and then experience a perception, which is our interpretation of that experience. And the perception that we have is unique. 10 different people could witness the same thing and have 10 completely different emotional responses to that experience. And that depends on already established belief systems. These belief systems are what our inner identity established truth is about this experience. 
And this depends on the health or otherwise of the inner identities composition on this topic. So as an example, last week's Thriver TV episode was regarding smearing. If someone's inner identity is carrying the past life, epigenetic and childhood traumas of being persecuted, scapegoated and even annihilated as a result of somebody else's opinion of them, then the perception of smearing is very painful, personal and even feels life-threatening. If someone's inner identity doesn't carry these traumas or if this person has already done the work to release and heal the traumas of persecution, then smearing will not affect them. They will easily detach, know it doesn't need to be accepted as a personal truth and they're gonna carry on with their lives without fear and pain, regardless of what other people think of them. It's so important to realize that these are not logical decisions. These are triggered or not. Emotional responses, depending on the formation of our inner identity, its health or otherwise, regarding any topic that could potentially trigger us. Now back to how our inner universe generates our experiences. Here is the thing that when we become conscious, we start to understand. By being whatever frequency we are being, meaning, feeling emotionally regarding any experience we have, we're now vibrating at that frequency. Emotions are energy in motion. We're now energetically on the life trajectory that matches exactly where we are emotionally being. If our emotions regarding the experience are painful, fearful and feeling unsafe, then the people who are hurting us now have us within the frequency range to keep hurting us. We're on the same playing field with them. The people and situations of a higher true self vibration that could grant us relief and solution are not available on this emotional trajectory. We're completely shut off from these. Likewise, we don't have access to the thoughts, ideas and inspirations that generate relief and solution the only thoughts within this range of consciousness are the ones that match the fear and the pain that we're currently undergoing. And think about this, because more pain and fear is getting generated in our experience because of being connected to the field of people and of events and thoughts and feelings that match the fear and pain that we're emotionally vibrating at, more bad stuff happens then we try harder to change, fix and stop what is happening outside of us from this state of pain and fear, which just makes matters worse and worse. And there you have it in a nutshell, the experience of narcissistic abuse, being stuck in the bowels of hell where everything escalates into more pain and fear. And of course, it feels like there's no way out. But really, narcissistic abuse is showing us in massive technicolor in a way that we can't miss it, how life from the outside in doesn't work, and that if we wish to change our life, we need to start living it from the inside out. There's a necessity to step into the true power of who we really are, rather than rolling around in the ridiculous sand pits of trauma with false selves. Let's have a look at how we used to react to pain and fear. We must attend to the true universe where this is all happening, which is your inner one. And this means completely changing the way we used to react to traumatic triggering and being aware why we used to react the ways we used to. I'll explain it to you. We get triggered and then we feel emotional pain and fear. We then start thinking the thoughts that match the pain and fear and we also make choices that match the pain and fear. These are some examples. We think and fear the worst about other people and what may happen. We mentally and emotionally beat ourselves up. We try to numb out the inner pain with junk food, alcohol, cigarettes, toxic relationships, unhealthy sex all the things that may grant us some momentary relief that numbs out the pain temporarily, 
yet which breaks down the integrity of our inner identity even more. Ultimately, manufacturing more pain and fear and therefore the vicious cycle intensifies. As a result, our life doesn't change. The painful patterns in our life don't change and zero transformation has taken place. So the real question is, do we want to stop doing this? I promise you that when you understand the following and apply it, you will, and your life will change very quickly for the better. So how to change your life from the inside out? Here is the formula to change your entire life. And surely I'm not kidding. Number one, the painful trigger hits. And of course this is going to happen because we always have inner trauma, especially originally before we started doing the inner work that's not serving us, that we need to release and heal beyond in order to change our life. So you need to stop not wanting that to happen and fully accept it's necessary. Pain's inevitable. It's the gateway to something greater. Suffering is optional and it only happens when we're unconscious and we try to avoid our painful triggers. So say this to yourself instead. I bless and accept this feeling. Number two is no, you're going to go straight into unconsciousness. Recognize you're going to want to do what you've always done. Grab this self-medicating, self-avoiding choice to drown out the pain and fear and or start thinking the worst, overreact or self-abandon and hand your power away. You may try to force someone or something else to change in order to try to feel better. You can make a commitment to yourself to not do any of this anymore. Instead, say this to yourself, I now commit to turning inwards to heal what is really going on here. Number three, in the height of the trauma, attend to it. When you are fully peaking an unspeakable trauma, if you no longer self-avoid, self-abandon or self-medicate to try to run away from it and be fully with it instead to load it up, release it and bring in love and power where that pain and fear once was, then you will change your inner identity and your matching brain synopsis wiring in powerful and instant ways. You literally have this hot spot of opportunity to generate lifetimes of evolution on that topic to live totally free from the old trajectories you are unconsciously stuck on and to access brand new ones that are organically connected to the well-being of life in minutes, not lifetimes. I'm not kidding. This is how powerful quantum healing really is because you literally dissolve away, which is let go of the old self and bring in your true super conscious self on that topic. This changes your inner identity, your feelings, your mind and your life instantly. And you may think that this sounds far-fetched, too easy and even ridiculous. And once upon a time, I would have thought that too. So I invite you to park that belief and experience this for yourself. So if you've got something that is stuck in your craw, and I've had my uh, European friends tell me they don't know what that expression means. I think it's a US expression originally. What it means is that thing you've, that's hurting you and it's fearful and it's painful that you just can't seem to get past. If you've got that, please come with me, hold my hand and do my free workshop with me where you get to face and release this thing from your inner identity and a quantum freedom healing session with me powerfully and effectively and you will know when it's cleared because you just won't feel like that anymore and then you will see your outer universe shift often in record time in alignment with your newly created inner one it's quantum law so within so without and that law is as an, is as absolute as gravity so what have you got to lose and what new incredible quantum self have you got to gain? So you can do this. 
by clicking the button at the top right of this video. And I am so looking forward to a rousing quantum discussion on this topic because it's fascinating as well as answering your questions on how you wish to create your incredible true life in 2019. And we're nearly there. I can't believe how fast this year has gone. So thrivers, we know how it goes. Keep smiling, keep healing and keep thriving because there is nothing else to do. Lots of love. Bye-bye.